All right, gang, what's going on? We're here in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, once again at the Thirst Conference, having a great time. We actually just got done listening to Margaret Feinberg's session, and now I'm here with Trevor Gordon Hall, who's been playing the guitar for us between sessions, and I gotta say, he's uh, probably the best guitar player I've ever heard in my life. And I'm not just saying that because he's sitting right here next to me, but he truly is an awesome guitar player. So Trevor, I didn't pay you enough to say that. I got to empty my wallet. Well, you'll have to pay me a little <laughs> bit more. That's all right. Nice, nice. But uh, but anyways, Trevor, thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Good to have you here. Thanks for coming out to the Thirst Conference. Um, could you just share maybe a little bit about yourself, kind of what you do? Sure. Yeah. Um, basically, I play instrumental guitar, and uh, which means there's no words to it, and uh, that's been something that is not necessarily the norm. Yeah. And you won't necessarily hear, you know, a lot of radio stations playing that kind of music. Sure. Um, but I have found over the years that music has been something that has really deeply resonated with me. And instead of trying to put a lot of these uh, feelings and emotions and things that I feel like I would like to communicate into paragraphs and sentences, I found that it's been most effective when just left away from words and the notes kind of speak. Awesome. And uh, so that's been kind of an interesting thing. And uh, it's not necessarily the easiest thing because most people don't think, yeah, I'm going to sit down and just listen to guitar. Uh, but it's going okay so far, so I'm thankful, so I'll keep doing that. Awesome. Well, Trevor, i got to say one thing that really impressed me with you is, you know, sure, you're an amazing guitar player. But also something I, I really appreciate about you that I can tell when you play that you're not trying to make it about you. Um, but that you're truly playing to worship God because he's given you this gift. So what are some things, or maybe what is some advice that you could give some, you know, aspiring musicians out there that really want to use their gift for the Lord? How do you suggest, or what is some advice that you would give them to kind of continue with that? Well, I guess, obviously, practicing, you know, just having a, a good sense of practice. But I think um, understanding that writing music and the experience of music um, is very deeply connected to who you are as a person, or how you're growing. Um, so I would always recommend uh, growing as a person as much as you can, because that always, sh for me at least, it always shows up in music. When I'm really trying to uh, work on an area of my life or um, reading certain books, it tends to really inspire the other side. Um, and I think just understanding trying to find out who you are and what you're about. Uh, Henry Nouwen was one of my favorite authors, and, and he always said that what is most personal is often most universal. That almost what a lot of people really deep down are feeling, they might feel like they're isolated in that, but that actually could be the most commonly shared feeling. And uh, music really, for me, has kind of like opened up those kind of like inner caverns inside and uh, has brought healing, and I would hope to bring that to other people. So I guess I would just... Um, encourage people to just understand what you're about, commit yourself to excellence, but just understand that this is, music is this giant abyss-like mystery yeah. that uh, you partake of, and it makes almost no sense, but the experience of it is so beautiful that I, I, I dedicate your life to it, because I mean, there's just a few things that I find beautiful. Cool. That's good stuff. So how can we get a hold of you? How can we listen to some of your music? Um, What's like a website that we could go to? Sure, sure. Well, um, if you go to Google and type in Trevor Gordon Hall, okay. um, I you know got a, thing, a few things that pop up. So iTunes, Amazon, uh, YouTube, all of those places. Okay. Uh, got stuff there at trevorgordonhall.com. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I try to keep people updated with like the Facebook fan page and do the, the whole Twitter thing. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's kind of fun too. So you know, almost all the online uh, awesome. venues I try. Well, you heard it from here, Trevor Gordon Hall. Go to trevorgordonhall.com or Google Trevor Gordon Hall or YouTube Trevor Gordon Hall. Check out his music. It's awesome. You will not <laughs> regret it whatsoever. All right, Trevor, thanks so much. Take care. Thank you. All right. We'll see, see you guys later. Take care. Bye.